I'm Alice Hewitt, and today I'm spending five minutes with Sergeant Matt Dasty, Public Information Officer for the Windsor Police Service. Now, in June of last year, the Windsor Police launched their Facebook and Twitter uh, to better connect with the community. What has been the response to that? The response has been overwhelming. It's, uh, it's been absolutely uh, excellent for the community, excellent for the police service. It's given us an avenue to uh, reach out to the community and uh, open up dialogue. Uh, something that we knew um, would happen, but probably something we didn't fully understand until we got right into it. And we're certainly uh, reaping the benefits of social media now. So you think social media is an important tool for police services? Absolutely. You know, okay. we knew um, that it was something that uh, was on our radar. It's something that we were exploring and looking at. But uh, certainly, uh, social media is not going away. And it's here to stay. We know that. And uh, as a responsible police agency, we, we made the decision to get into social media, to use that as an avenue mm -hmm. to communicate valid and relevant information with our community. And how often are these forums updated? Like, has the workload increased for the Windsor Police Service? Or you know, it, it's, a, it's a very, very busy position, no doubt. So right now, presently, uh, I'm the public information officer. So I work uh, a Monday to Friday job. and. Daily, we are doing a, a daily news report, and we're releasing that on Twitter and on uh, Facebook. So those reports go out uh, Monday to Friday. We're also branching out. We're uh, training uh, certain members of our agency to be able to use those uh, communication tools as well. So we'll, it's eventually, we will have 24-7 coverage. And the importance of that is uh, to inform people what's going on in the community. If there's something that uh, needs to be out there in the public right away, some okay. relevant information, we'll be able to uh, establish that immediately. As you know, it's, it's immediate information and that's mm -hmm. what's so wonderful about it. Since more and more police services are um, adapting to the social revolution, are you finding it easier to connect with other police departments? Absolutely. Uh, there's no question about that because there is a network for sure within other police agencies. And uh, a lot of us uh, reach out to each other and uh, we do training together sometimes at conferences mm -hmm. and uh, we are following each other and liking each other on social media. So we're getting updates from other agencies and we're also uh, learning from each other as well. Um, as, as social media develops for the Windsor Police Service, we're certainly uh, encouraged in watching other agencies who have been doing it a little longer than us and we're learning from them and we're developing things ourselves as well. That's perfect. Now you've touched upon this before, but you said you post about ongoing cases and such. How, how has this benefited the police service? Well, you know, it's, it's really excellent because uh, I can give you uh, an example. Just last week we had a robbery in the city and uh, the image of the suspect was provided to us. Uh, it was obtained through uh, security surveillance systems. And within hours of that offense happening, we were able to upload that image and blast it out through social mm -hmm. media. And it, was, it, it really blew up, literally. It was uh, going viral. It was being shared with our followers. We were encouraging people to share it, to retweet it, to get it out there, because we know um, that the more people who see that image, the more likely it is that we're going to be able to identify this person. So that type of information that goes out, it, it helps. It helps the Windsor Police Service and it helps the community and it brings us together closer to a common good. It's a bond that we establish with the community and it builds trust. Trust uh, that the, the public can have in us as a police agency, that we're properly uh, serving our communities and that uh, we're here to conduct business and that uh, we want to be open, we want to be approachable and uh, transparent to our communities. And this has certainly given us uh, a venue to do that and it's been absolutely incredible for us. Right. Now last year a number of uh, police officers in England were actually disciplined for what they posted via their Twitter accounts. Are Windsor police officers encouraged to have their own Twitter accounts and are they monitored in any way? Well, you know, we, we are aware that uh, police officers do have their own Facebook and Twitter accounts. There's no question about mm -hmm. that. But um, for security reasons, we, we tell our officers what they should and should not be putting on their accounts. And, it, and it's basically for their own personal security and for the security of their family as well. But um, there is uh, some, some training that is going on within the service to better educate people about you know, what is appropriate, what is not appropriate uh, when you're dealing with uh, police officers using the accounts. 
Okay. And one last question for you. Will there be a reduction in services due to the arbitration award? You know, I know that uh, Chief Al Frederick has made a commitment to the community and uh, th there will not be a, a reduction in services. We're committed to the community. We realize as a police agency with the uh, award that's been given to us that, uh, you know, we have to maintain our budget and mm -hmm. we'll be closely looking at that for sure. Okay. I'm Alice Hewitt and I've just spent five minutes with Sergeant Matt Diasti, Public Relations Officer for the Windsor Police Service.